All right, in a, and I'm, I'm forcing you to smoke this, so I'll be here for like three hours. Oh, yep. Shit. Well, whatever the, the flavor changes, we'll, we'll come back. Oh my God. Yeah. It's about, yeah, it's about two third left. Okay, so yeah. finally, that took three hours. Uh, the cigar is rough. Every single day. Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another cigar review. And today we have a cigar that I know is gonna be good. I know it's gonna be bad. Yep. That is the Davidoff Anniversario number one. Alright, in a tube. Uh, if you buy the entire box, it actually comes with this tube and I think nine other cigars and with one inside the tube already. So I already took the cello off because I don't like the cello in there. So you get a tube. Uh, one thing about this tube is that it's not very air sealed. Like, it's like gimmick, very gimmicky. Okay. But you know, doesn't look too bad. So let's get into some information on this one. Um, okay. So that. Back in 1990s, Davidoff moved to production from Cuba to DR. And when they decided to make an anniversario, they decided to make this double corona and they call it the size number one. So, you know, um, so their double corona is technically number one. Later on, they moved it to a number two, which is the 7 and 48 Churchill size. So now they re-released this limited edition as anniversario number one. Now, does it taste any different? Not supposedly. Uh, this thing right now is 8 and 2 third by 48. Uh, MSRP was 64 and I remember, I think, you now someone had to correct me. I think I bought it with, um, with uh, Eric in Miami for like 80 or something like that. Some stupid number. Um, but yeah, we bought one just to review, so... It is what it is. The wrapper is Ecuadorian, Connecticut. Binder is Ecuadorian. Filler is Dominican. Uh, like, you know, all kind of different stuff. Piolo, Siso, uh, San Vicente Viso, San Vicente Majorado Viso. There you go. <laughs> so, they made 6,500 boxes of 10 cigars. And I really don't think this is worth that much because... It's like two cigars. They're trying to tell you that for two cigars, it should cost $32 each for each chunk of anniversary. So, and I'm, I'm forcing you to smoke this. So I'll be here for like three hours. Yep. Very cedary, very woodsy. Very, very cedary. Now. Just a little look. It's nothing special. The band is like really lackluster. It's just an anniversary of number one and the white band. Really lackluster. Okay. Anderson did say that the Big Guilty uh, podcast, they say that this is probably the best Davidoff they have ever smoked this year. So we'll find out. We'll find out. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Dab it off. I'm, I mean, it's not really a Lancero. It's bigger than that. It technically is almost a, you know, it's like a twice Robusto, right? Technically, almost. You know, it's twice Corona, but you know, the length is very long. It's not really, like, but really it makes me feel like a girl smoking one of these. You see, I'm like holding this long. Hi, 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 hi. 
You know, I just don't like this sign kind of size. I, I just don't. I just don't. I'm going to stay away from the fan. The draw is tight. The draw is tight. Cedar, sweetness, a little bit creaminess. No pepper whatsoever. A little bit of mineral. Mm. All right, a little bit of pepper start to go through. Hey. And I think it has a, like a mid-tone of nutmeg and yeah, floral maybe. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to smoke through this and figure it out. So let me smoke through one third, which will be, yeah, this much. Well, whatever the, the flavor changes, we'll, we'll come back. Oh my God. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's one third. I'm gonna call this one third because uh, it's about, yeah, it's about two third left. Okay, so yeah, one third. And I can tell you for sure, let's just list the flavor, okay? And this is, it doesn't matter which anniversary you get, you're gonna get this, all right? You gotta get hay, cedar, vanilla, a little bit earthiness, nutmeg, a uh, little bit wh white pepper, just a little bit, floral. And maybe sometime barnyard or earthiness. Maybe. Just a little bit. And I can tell you that it tastes exactly the same as this. So if you go out there, you bought an adversario and you smoke it, that's how it tastes like. That's all that tastes like. So based my, on my memory of all the adversario that I smoked, They're very consistent throughout. So the entire cigar tastes the same. So I'm expecting of two more hours of this thing, the same thing. But we'll see. First third. This is what it get me. Very unfortunate. This thing? We bought it in Silver Leaf, Miami. And I just asked Eric, you know, how much have we bought it for? And he's like, yeah, it remembers like 70 plus tax or something like that. So it's about 80 bucks we bought this for. Why did I choose to smoke this again? Anyways, I had to smoke this through one sitting, so I gotta I better get back to it. Get back to it. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to the review of Davidov Anniversario Corona. <laughs> this thing tastes nothing different than Anniversario. Alright? Very consistent, it's the same thing. Once in a while, uh, through Retro Hill, you might smell a little bit of like fresh brewed coffee slash espresso, maybe some toast nuts. That's all normal with the Anniversario. I, I don't taste anything different than that. You can buy two Corona and it will taste the same thing. So yeah, I'm very close to give this judgment. Yeah, uh, now it's the second hour, 1030. So. My last hour of this thing, once I finish, I'll give you guys what I think. I think you guys already know what I think. This thing is, I, 
Don't get a long ass cigar that's gonna last you three hours. I, I really don't see a reason for that, like other than making it. You know, uh, part of smoking cigar is that when I'm done with one, I can switch to something different. This thing, when I'm done with one, I'm done with the day. You know, this is it's crazy size. It's crazy size. I I don't I don't know. What what like we will rate this based on MSRP, and um, I can already tell you. It's not there, yeah. So uh, we'll come back once I'm done with this entire cigar. <laughs> Be right back. All right, so we are done. Finally, that took three hours. Uh, the cigar is roughly about mile median. It's, if you wanna, if the concern was whether or not you can finish the cigar without getting sick, you won't get sick. I didn't get sick. You know, it's quite normal of a cigar. But here's the problem. It's basically two anniversarial together. It's the, the whole way just tastes the same. Uh, at time, you get a little bit of whiff, like the smell maybe some you know roasted nuts or coffee smell but you smell it you don't taste it but that's pretty much it for this cigar i mean for me uh i will rate it at below two anniversarial price so something like 40 bucks uh ish uh it cannot be any more than that because uh, it's a long cigar it really take up your time it really like you know it, it, it almost feel like you lock you lock in your three hour four hour and you have no more other option you know, because once you decide to give it up, that thing's that cigar is gone. So it's not worth uh, the time invested for this. You know, when you can could have smoked two of uh, the anniversary or Brusto and get the same experience with the choice to stop after one stick. This one, you don't get that. So yeah, roughly 40 bucks. Uh, I do not recommend anybody buying it unless you're just buying it for the hair. Eh. So um, it's it's not. It's not worth it. Don't don't go out and find it. You can just smoke a regular anniversary or save yourself some money if you want to know the taste. Okay? So that will be it for this particular cigar review. And uh, I hope you guys like it. And if you like it, like, subscribe, comment, share. On the way to 1,000. I keep saying that. I think I'm going to reach 1,000 before this, uh, this uh, review ever released. But we will still continue to go that way. And I'll see you guys in the very next cigar review. Bye, guys.